Hi, my super duper amazing boys and girls. It is learning time with your super duper amazing teacher, me, Mrs. Jackson. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But then I let it go again. Why did I let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Hi boys and girls, welcome. I'm happy that you are here. Are you ready to learn? Uh-huh. Then say our learning time jingle with me. Let's go. It is learning time. It is learning time. I will look. I will listen. I will be brilliant. Yes. Great job. No, today we're going to have so much fun counting. Do you like to count? Uh-huh. Good job. Great job. All right. So, let's go. Listen to my song and then you can sing along. Here we go. It's counting time, we can count just fine. It's counting time and we can count just fine. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can count to ten. Let's go again. It is counting time and we can count just fine. It's counting time and we can count just fine. Ready again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can count to ten. We can count to ten. Yes! Can you count to ten? Yes! You are brilliant! Now look at the numerals and help me to say their names. What numeral is this? Aha! Uh -huh. This is the numeral zero. Does anybody remember what zero means? Aha! Uh -huh. You are brilliant! Zero means there is nothing to count. So when we're counting, we do not start from zero unless there is nothing to count. So that's why we started counting from one, because this is the numeral one, and we have all our numerals right here. But zero means there is nothing to count. So we only say zero when we have nothing. When the board is empty, or our plate, or whenever anything is empty. All right? Good job. So help me call the names of the numerals. So this is numeral zero. And zero means there's nothing to count. What numeral is this? Aha, uh -huh, the numeral one. Very good. What numeral is this? Aha, uh -huh, the numeral two. And this one? Numeral three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, you know your numerals. Clap yourselves, boys and girls. Great job. All right. I have some magic numerals to show to you, but first I want to hear the magic word. All right. Here we go. Abracadabra. That's the word. Spell out. Who remembers this numeral right here? What numeral is this? The numeral one. 
Good job. How do you know? Uh-huh. Because it comes straight down and that is odd. Put your finger in the air. Let's write numeral one. It's quite easy, guys. Let's go. Come straight down. That is all. Come straight down. And that is all. Come straight down. And that is all. To write the numeral one. Good job. Can you help me count one object? Mm-hmm. Here we go. How many mango? Yes, one. One mango. Good job. Look at my block. How many can you see? Let's count it. Very good. One. One block. Great job, boys and girls. Now let's look at the word one. Is this the word one? Aha! Uh -huh. Good job. Let's call the letters in the word to spell the word one. Let's go. O N E one. O N E one. And you know we have to sing our song, boys and girls. So here we go. O N E. That spells one. Show me your finger. Push up your hand. Good job. O N E. That spells one. Show me your finger. Push up your hand. Good job. O N E. That spells one. Show me your finger. Push up your hand. Awesome, you are so brilliant. So we know the numeral one. We can count one object, one mango, one block, one. And we know the word one. Let's spell the word one again. O N E one. Good job. You're super brilliant. Now let's use the magic word again to see another magic numeral. Abracadabra. Yes, I heard you. Spell out. Who remembers this numeral? What numeral is this? Uh-huh. This is the numeral two. Good job. How do you know? Okay, all right, because we curve around at the top and then we slide to the right. Put your finger in the air. Let's write number two. Uh-huh, it's quite easy, guys. Follow me. Curve around and slide to the right. Come on, put your finger in the air. Curve around, slide to the right. Curve around and slide to the right to write the numeral two. Good job. Can we count two objects? Uh-huh. Look at my cherries. How many cherries can we see? Yes. Let's count them. One, two. Two cherries. Good job. Let's count again. One, two. Do we see anything else? Uh-uh. So we stop at two. Two. Two cherries. Great job. Take a look at this. Look at my blocks. How many can you see? Uh-huh. Let's count them. One, two, two blocks. Good job. Boys and girls, you are super brilliant. Clap yourselves. Great. Now, do you remember how the word two looks? 
Take a look right here. Is this the word to? Uh-huh. Let's call the letters in the word to spell it and to be sure that this is the word to. Let's go. T W O two. Yes, this is the word two. Very good. T W O two. And you know we have to sing our song again. Are you ready? T W O. That's those two. Show me a finger. Well, your fingers, because it's two one. Two. So show me two fingers. Ah, uh -huh. touch your shoe. Great job. Let's go again. T W O. That's those two. Show me your fingers. Two fingers. Touch your shoe. T W O. That's those two. Show me your fingers. Touch your shoe. T W O. That's those two. Show me your fingers. Touch your shoe. Great job. So we know the numeral two. We can count two objects. Ah, uh -huh, like two cherries. And we know the word two. Let's spell the word two again. T W O two. You are brilliant. Good job. Say the magic word again. Abracadabra. Spell out. What numeral is this? It's a big fat numeral. What is it? Yes, the numeral zero. Mm -hmm. Remember, zero only works with the numerals. So when we're talking about numerals, then you see this. It is the numeral zero. Uh-huh. And the zero means what? There is nothing to count. But do you know how to write zero? Come on, put your finger in the air. And let's get ready. Put your finger in the air. Let's write numeral zero. It's easy, guys. Zero is like a circle. Zero is like a circle. Zero is like a circle. It goes all the way around. Zero is like a circle. Zero is like a circle. Zero is like a circle. It goes all the way around. Good job. Zero. Uh-huh. So, why do you think there's nothing on this to count? Uh-huh, because zero means there is nothing to count. So if you see anything that's empty and there's nothing in it to count or nothing there to count, then we say we have zero things. We have nothing. Great job. Zero means nothing. Zero means nothing. Zero means nothing. There's nothing to count. Do you remember how the word zero looks? Is this the word zero? Are you sure? Okay, let's call the letters in the word to spell the word to find out if it is really zero. Let's go. Z E R O zero. zero. You are correct. Let's go again. Z E R O zero. Good job. And you know we have to sing our song. Let's go. Z E R O that's zero. Nothing to count. We're all heroes. Yes, let's go again. Z E R O that's zero. Nothing to count. We're all heroes. You are super brilliant. Z E R O, that's zero. Nothing to count. We're all heroes. 
Zero means nothing. Zero means nothing. Zero means nothing. There's nothing to count. Yay! Very good. You have been awesome today, guys. Let's go over these counting these blocks. How many blocks do I have right here? One. Mm -hmm. And then two. Great job. How many blocks do I have now? Zero. And zero means there is nothing to count. Great job. Great. Guys, you have been so good here with me today. Counting and learning about your numerals. Uh-huh. Good job. Now you go along and you do some counting on your own. Whatever it is you see, try and count them. All right? Have fun. And I will see you again next time. Bye.